today is May 28th, the day after Memorial Day on Tuesday, and the buses are back at Dorney Park. Hello again, today is Tuesday, May 28th. I am back at Dorney Park. My normal spot of chicken and pizza is a little crowded, so I'm gonna try the new Iron Mill Grill and Bar. Let's go see what they have to offer. Unfortunately, I will not be eating at the Iron Mill Grill and Bar as uh, I was looking to get the chicken sandwich, but unfortunately it came with pickles, bacon, and coleslaw. I tried to get it just a plain chicken sandwich and they were not able to accommodate me. So let's go see where else I'm gonna end up eating today. At the time of filming, it's 12.27 p.m. Uh, with the line stretching out at Chicken and Pete's this far, it is definitely gonna be at least an hour wait for food, and I'm not waiting. The time now is 1 p.m. Uh, the time on my last video I said was 12.27, it was actually 12.57. This is the current line at the Chicken Shack. Probably a good half an hour wait there. And that's the line to pick up your food. It's only Tuesday. We'll see if I find something to eat. I'm here at the new Whitewater Tavern that took the place of the Chickie and Pete's across from Whitewater Landing. Time now is 1.02 p.m. and the line for food stretches out the door. So this is another half an hour, 40 minute wait at least. The time is now 1.04 p.m. This is Clucks and Franks located near the Upper Games near the Midway. Uh, the line's probably a good 30 minutes long here. At this point, I'm just going to go to the other food uh, establishments and see how long the lines are and let you know how it is for a Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day. The time is now 1.05 p.m. I'm at Coasters Drive-In. The line is out the door almost to the midway. Easily another half an hour wait. At this point, we may end up to the water park and see how the lines are there. Right across from Coasters is Amori's Pizza where with the meal plan, you get one slice of pizza and two breadsticks. Uh, there's a short line here. Last season, it was two slices of pizza and a breadstick. I'm not really in the mood for pizza. Let's keep searching. Leave it to me to forget that the Wild Water Kingdom is only open on the weekends right now. It is Tuesday, May 28th, and they are closed. That is on me. Here is the new Coca-Cola and Icy Station that was built over the off season. This will be pretty busy during the summer months. It's located just inside the main entrance to the right. The time is now 1.20 p.m. I have circled the park looking for food. The line at Chickie and Pete's now extends the entire way across the walkway. Last stop's gonna be the Burger Barn before I decide to leave and find food elsewhere. Time is now 1.18 p.m. I could even go for a Subway sandwich, but unfortunately, Subway in the park is no more. The Subway in the water park no longer has the season pass plan, and the water park's not open. To the left is the Burger Barn, and that line extends beyond the queue. It's not looking good, folks. So after about an hour of looking for food, I decided to go back to the Iron Mill Grill and Bar get the chicken sandwich with coleslaw, pickle, and a side of fries with the meal plan. I'll let you know how this tastes. So let's take a moment to talk about today. It is Tuesday, May 28th. It's the day after Memorial Day. And obviously there are lots of bus trips that come to Dorney Park during the weekday, throughout June for the most part. Today the lines were pretty long and I don't, fault Dorney Park or anything for that. It's just the way it is. And they have volunteer groups that are working at Chickie and Pete's and at the Iron Mill, the new restaurant down where Monster used to be. 
and they're here they're trying to help raise some funds for their local charity and causes and I appreciate and respect that uh, today it was just a lot of people in line for food so for me I usually get here early and at 11 a.m. when chicken Pete's opens that's usually my go-to spot so if you're coming with a family I would come early and eat early if you're eating at the park if you have a season meal plan otherwise plan on waiting until later on around 4 or so in the afternoon when the bus trips tend to start to leave that way the lines at the restaurants will start to be shorter and you'll no longer have to wait a half an hour 45 minutes or longer for food especially if you have small kids I come to the park mostly by myself I have some nieces and nephews who occasionally come along and having small kids wait for food is just not a good thing however hopefully as the season progresses and the kids get out of school there will be a lot more uh, local student workers here and they bring in the internationals that help work throughout the summer months so hopefully things will pick up by no means is today's video a uh, downer it was just showing you how long the lines can be for food on a weekday right after a holiday when schools aren't necessarily out so getting employees could be a little here or there so it has been a good day the wait lines on the rides are very short compared to the food so let's go have some fun with the rest of the day and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it if you come here to Dorney Park all right that's gonna wrap it up for today I'm gonna hit a couple more rides before going home uh, like the video subscribe if you want to leave a comment if you've been here before what's your opinion on the lines and everything else have a good day and I will see you again on the next adventure